All right, we're live. Here we go. I'm going to open it on my phone so I can see anyone who's joining us live with beautiful Kim <laughs> and her fabulous hair. Always oh a good God. hairstyle. It's so inspiring. <laughs> I know I changed but I could never get uh like professional photos done because I change my look like every month so it's like I never look like my pro shots you know yeah just you might need to just have a photographer on on rotation or part of my posse yeah my j-lo dream exactly yeah. <laughs> oh well welcome 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 and also i just want to say a big thank you for your openness around sharing i asked him you know is there anything you don't want to say and she, i'm an open book so i actually want to say something to that because i find when a woman is ready to share about her journey it it's such a signal and representation of alchemizing, like anything there would have been shame or discomfort or anything that felt like heavy has actually shifted into part of your story, part of your journey, maybe even part of your medicine. Yeah. yeah. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome. I like to always go back and to sort of like paint the picture of where even things begin so can you for as much as you are wanting or willing to share tell us a little bit about what your love life was like before your first entry into school of love was inner circle so before the inner circle what was your love life before that? yeah um well it was it was pretty much non-existent diana like as you're aware um it, i had I just felt like my relationships were getting worse as I got older. Uh, and I kind of figured, well, as I get older, like I'll have more wisdom and, and they'll be more fulfilling, but it just wasn't happening for me. And so about 15 years ago, I, I just completely shut down and said, that's it. It's not in the cards for me. And I'm, I'm done. I'm just going to be on my own. I wasn't bitter. I just was, okay, I'm getting the message. Yeah. Um, and so when I came to you, I was still had a lot of wall. I, I, I did have walls around my heart. I, I entered school of love. I was probably the most resistant person in the group for sure. But those kind of people, like I've served people like that myself and they generally have the biggest breakthroughs. So I knew, and I acknowledged in the group, I know I'm usually resistant. I know everybody can feel the walls. I can feel them, but slowly, I think it was around the halfway through Diana, some shift happened mm -hmm. and just, it wasn't a specific thing. It was just continually showing up for every single call, regardless of how I felt or how resistant I was, I made sure that that time was blocked off of my calendar. And about halfway through, I just, something, some, like the last vestiges, I would say of the walls came down and I was just a soppy mess. I like, I would see a bird or a butterfly and I would just, tears would come up in my eyes because my heart hadn't been opened that wide for so long yeah. I was so so sensitive um and I th another three months went by so I settled into this new openness where I didn't cry at a piece of dust flying by <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> you know, I finally settled into it. And then I would say a couple of months after that, I felt, okay, I'm ready to go on dating apps. Like that was the safest thing mm -hmm. I could think to do. Mm -hmm. And I remember opening up the app and then just, I was about, I was just about to open up a profile and I could feel the last piece of something dropping away, like resistance or block or whatever. And then within 20 minutes, I saw a guy on there that was like, we just, there was a chemistry there. Um, and so I went on my first date uh, and that don't, didn't take very long. Um, that didn't work out. That was a one date wonder. Mm -hmm. um, and uh but then I took a training online that was something outside of, it was a sales training. 
-hmm. And uh, this guy showed up uh, and we landed in a, in a room together on Zoom, the two of us. And I knew that there was just an electric attraction and we've pretty much been speaking every day uh, for the last couple of months. Mm -hmm. and, it's, and it's blooming into it's, whatever it is going to be. What I'm really loving is um, we're a long distance. So yeah. he's uh, he's in the US, I'm here in Canada. He's in, in Texas, mm -hmm. he's a real Texan too. He likes smoking meats and, yeah. you know, he's like that. <laughs> I love that. And yeah, um, and uh, it, what's what the long distance, and I know long distance can be really discouraging for so many women mm -hmm. and it's hard. It is not an easy thing to do, but what it did for the two of us was, was have us uh, formulate this beautiful friendship yeah. first, like there's an attraction there and there's flirting going on, but it's this really, we were forced to get to know each other before yeah. you can kind of cheat with touch and yeah. kissing and that, that attraction can keep building without actually really getting to know the person first. Exactly. So, um, yeah, so it, it wasn't long after School of Love that that I've really found somebody who is a gentleman who isn't pressuring me into doing anything, who has major attention on me. Mm -hmm. um, and and he's just really cares, you know, mm -hmm. as I do about him. And he appreciates all facets of me, like. What was happening, another thing in the past, Diana, is that men were threatened by my power. Mm -hmm. So I got used to dimming my light, to compensating, to making excuses for them, to like just not being in my power and like like sending that message to myself, I can't, I, I'm too much. Yeah. Um, whereas for the right man, you're never too much. Mm -hmm you're more than enough and the more, the more, the better, right? And so this is, I feel the first man that is like recognizes my power and my intelligence and, and all the things that may, that I've earned, you know, and worked for, yeah. uh, uh, and he loves it. Yeah, of course he does. And it's been so fun for me as a witness and observer to watch your playfulness come through mm -hmm. just on the journey. And if we can even go back to when you, be, first of all, I think it'd be fun to know what drew you to inner circles, specifically in the school of love. And let's talk about for a second, what your intention was coming in because it wasn't even to find a partner. No, my intention was to just decide mm -hmm. am I going to just uh stay single but be very very happy with that and stay single and dependent um or to actually bring a man in and that was the only answer I wanted that's that's mm -hmm. the, I just wanted a decision made um so that I wasn't like waffling or yeah. in this limbo state yeah. I wanted to be fully empowered with either of those decisions yeah I love that. Yeah, of course, it swung into the like the uh, the ladder, you know, with you around. It's impossible not to like <laughs> have that happen. And it was beautiful because it was clear to me what the answer was from the start. But it was beautiful to watch you own it. And you're in men money manifestation now as well. And you know, like the first, really, the first step is that deciding what it is that you want. And so once your heart was opening and your decision was made, it was like, and you brought in that playfulness. It was a matter of time. Yeah. Can I ask, was there anything or anything you want to share, like what you learned about yourself or what you experienced in that six month journey that you hadn't anticipated? That I hadn't anticipated. Um, I hadn't anticipated my resistance in yeah, the beginning. I was sure you were going to say that. Yeah. I had not, I had no clue that that, that those walls were in existence. Mm -hmm. um, that really surprised me. Mm -hmm. And also the feedback from the group, like 
that's the whole deal with it because these are small groups. It's not like there's like 500 people in there and you can just fall, you know, you can hide out in the background. No, because there was only, I guess, maybe six of us there. Yeah, there were six. Yeah. So that's powerful. Yeah. Because you are seen and you are heard, not just by you, Diana, as, as holding that space for everybody, but you're seen and heard and held space by everybody in that group. And you really feel that, mm-hmm. you know, uh, so um, did that answer your question? I, I Yes. Yes. Yeah. Like, so uh, I guess what was surprising was just the impact of being seen yeah. by others. Really, and really letting that in, because I yeah. feel having seven people like be there for you, yeah, uh, was all part of that alchemy that happened that 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 melting of the walls, that that opening of the heart. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, sure, we could have done that one on one as well, Diana, but there was a real power in in just having mm-hmm. more there and so much love in the group. like this is. Mm-hmm. As I said a million times before, Diana, you attract the best qual, like the highest quality women mm-hmm. on the planet. Like it's so consistent. And that was part of me feeling really safe and mm-hmm. being vulnerable in that group was the, yeah. the caliber of the women. Like there's no male bashing. There's no wonky personalities or like overly masculine women. Like mm-hmm. it's it's just really a, a very special and sacred that that's what created the transformation. It was everything, you know, as a whole. And, you know, I've never been happier in my life. I, it's made me, it's, it's not just in like my love life with, with men. It's yeah. like how we interact on a daily basis with, uh, colleagues with uh you know when I go to the store when I buy my fresh flowers every week like all the vendors like there's just an openness all around and I still like I have men like coming up to me on the street what are you doing for the rest of your life and like (laughs) you know I'm getting free stuff left right and center and I take a lot of taxis and all the taxi drivers want to give me their phone number like Kim I'll be your personal taxi driver and like you know, it's just like, and my, like, um, because of that, because of my openness, it's really just expanded my ability to receive. Um, I know I'm in the money and manifestation course with you. Well, what course am I not in with you? I know I would say you're also in portal of love. Yeah. I'm in portal of love. I'm just like, but that's the thing. It's like, once you do the school of love, everything else that you're offering is that fine tuning and maintenance. And you know, Diana, I am showing up for every single call, except when I miss book them on my calendar, like I did today, you know, just because I'm in in so many uh, (laughs) classes with you, but I attend all of them because I find I, I need the advice that day. Like there's never, I never not, I, I never don't have a question or need guidance of some kind. Yeah. Oh, yeah. thank you for that. And honestly, it's so special for me to truly see you be so authentic. There is this, like when anybody watching, when Kim's sharing about her heart opening, it's no like metaphor. It's the truth. It is, it, it had walls and the walls are down and there is an openness and this unconditional love that's always pouring through like you supporting the other ladies and saying I have a resource for you here's my email I can help you with this and this genuine desire to connect and look at you it's just your your heart is so beautiful and I'm so happy the world gets to see and experience your beautiful heart Oh, yes, thank you. <laughs> yeah, because it was like the tears are from it, like the memory of what was I doing for 15 years? Like, and, and like, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's not regret. It's just like, dang, I wish it had happened sooner. That's, that's my only regret is that like, I just turned that aspect of me off, but I, I didn't realize the impact in all areas of my life with like being shut down, 
you know um so like of course uh you know fingers crossed it's going to work out with this guy but like uh um even if it doesn't I know I'll, I'll be able to recreate that again I'm I'm sure but you know this guy's pretty special so <laughs> so we're but, rooting for him <laughs> yeah we're rooting we're rooting for you Mr. Yeah. S <laughs> yeah but it's just regardless if it does or not I'm gonna be okay um is like I'm not gonna ever like my heart I'm not going backwards like I'm I'm not shutting down like it like that again so it's a beautiful demonstration of of me really being able to see the black and white difference of heart shut down and heart open. Wow. And this is way more attractive to me. And I'm, and I am going to uh, defend that and go for that wow. always now. Yeah. No, no more shutting down. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Yeah. I just want to give you the space if there's anything you want to share or, you know, so you, you went through inner circle, you're now in portal of love and men money manifestation. Like how does this, what keeps you inside of our school of love world and how does it continue to support you? And just anything you want to share about anything at all. I want to leave the space for you, but you've said so many beautiful things already. So it's perfect as it is. Yeah. Well, I said, uh, I, I think I said it to you at one point, Diana, like, just put me on retainer because like, I'm going to be taking your stuff <laughs> until you're pushing up daisies, you know, <laughs> uh, so much value. And I, I feel that that is so important because of a woman's emotional world, like, you know, and how are, um, like, um, I describe it as, as our emotions are like the wave, right? Like, so we go up, 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 and then we have a thought about something and then we crash mm -hmm. and then we go back up again and then we crash and that's happening all throughout the day. Right. Mm -hmm. So there's never, I, I can't imagine me not requiring mm -hmm. regular maintenance in, in the programs, mm -hmm. um, you know, and you have great rates for your, for all your program, like, it's like the best investment, you know? Um, and it's so important. It's, it's being accountable so that when I have things that I need to share with my man, I have tools constantly available to me on how to do that consciously, how to like actually speak to him so that he feels empowered, yes. that it's not a blame or a shame of him um because like a man will just shut down right if if that happens and even though I know a lot about dating and relationships and things but I can't coach myself mm -hmm. you know when you're in it like mm -hmm. when you're in the picture frame you can't paint paint it you know what I mean I don't know if that's the best metaphor but you know I understand it perfectly yeah you know yeah. um and I'm just I'm just finding even though I have the wisdom of the man woman dynamic I I need help all the time. Mm -hmm. Um, especially when you have, like, when I've attracted somebody like I have right now, uh, I want to be as, I want to do this as consciously as possible so that yeah. we're always so em empowered. And, and of course, in long distance communication, like is so necessary. And, uh, yeah, I think, mm -hmm. I think that's like a big piece why, why I'm continuing to take the courses, because no matter how much you know, or how much of a, how many years you've been a coach yourself and helping other people, uh, you can't do this on your own. Mm -mm. We, need, we have blind spots and we need our answers. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Even if it's just tweaking a word here yeah. or there, but it can make yeah. a massive difference. Right. And I can certainly work things out in my head, but to have like mm -hmm. a, a feedback and and hear it in a different way or to just tweak it up a notch so that it's going to make all that difference in, in the outcome. And it's also about learning to not be attached to outcomes, like being prepared for whatever, like you're communicating that your man's truth, you're going to be okay with all of it. Yes. No matter what. And knowing you have sisters to hold you through the ups and the downs. And it truly feels like sisters in our spaces. It's so special. It's so special. I love what you're sharing because it's not just what we know, it's what we embody. 
Yes. Continue to embody and deepen and have the felt sense and the experience of it and integrate it in our lives. We can read all the books and know all the things and that helps, but it only takes us so far. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. I totally agree with that. It only takes you so far um, because we get in loops in our head, like in, you know, I definitely have anxious attachment style, which I'm getting better at. Um, I can actually see that improving to becoming more of a secure mm -hmm. attachment. You know, um, like if, you know, if he doesn't respond right away, I'm not going into like, yeah. you know, <laughs> that might happen sometimes depending on my yeah. stress levels of the day, like whatever's happening in my day. But I can see that slowly becoming much more secure attachment. Um, so I'm not so much of a ninny anymore. <laughs> You're, amazing. You're amazing. And I just appreciate you so much and love walking this journey with you. And just thank you for your open heart and willingness to share it all. I know it makes such a difference for others, whether they get to see themselves in your story as they watch it today or take the leap and say, I'm going to try something out of the box and, you know, do this thing and it's scary, you know, but I want extraordinary life and so I'm going to take an extraordinary action yeah so just thank you thank you thank you for all of it and for choosing me to journey with oh you're it you're the it one <laughs> you're the it girl that's for sure thank you Diana thank you and if anybody has questions for me for Kim, this is streaming in our Facebook group, so feel free to tag either one of us in there. Yeah. And thank you for watching and thank you for sharing. You can stay on. We'll say bye to, to our Facebook group, but you can stay on, okay? Okay. Bye, everybody. Bye.